Hey, what's up video creators? This is Phil Ebner with VideoSchoolOnline.com. Check out the website. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a vignette in Final Cut Pro 7. So here I brought in this image to my program into my uh, timeline right here. Of course this works for video as well. So in this, uh, there's two different ways in Final Cut Pro to create a vignette. Uh, actually, there's probably more, but there's two ways that I know of that are great and easy ways. The, the easy one that I'm going to be talking about today is just using a filter. So go under your Effects tab, which is over here in your brow near your browser, um, and click under Video Filters. Go to Stylize, and down at the bottom there is a Vignette Effect. Just go ahead and click and drop it onto either straight onto your video or onto the video within your timeline, and it creates a vignette right there for you. Go in your viewer tab and go under filters. Make sure you have your layer selected. Double click it down here in the timeline. It brings up this vignette. You can see that it has the vignette on there. You can check it and uncheck it to view it and to take it off. And you can change all sorts of things. You can change the size of the vignette, the fall off, meaning how fast it darkens or blurs. You can increase the blur amount because the vignette has a blur as well as it darkens. You can increase how dark it gets, which, you know, I would say the standard is, you know, not as dark as I would like it. You could play with the saturation. Uh, decreasing it makes the outer vignette edges uh, desaturated. And play with the mix, which is basically whether it blends with the image below it or not. So play around with it. I usually, you know, increase, maybe increase the size a bit, uh, but also increase the fall off to blend it in a little bit more. I don't think I want it as blurry as it is right there, so I'm going to decrease the blur and maybe even increase how dark it is. And so there you have a nice, beautiful vignette that really draws the attention to the center of this image of these cyclists biking up this mountain. I shot this at a stage race in the Californ Tour de California in Glendora near my hometown of San Dimas. And so that's a great way to create a vignette. Check out my other video on how to create a vignette with the circle or the oval layer effect. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Make sure you check out videoschoolonline.com, and I will see you next time.